what's going on? It's your good buddy LRC Corral the 25 here. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. Well, guys, in this big brown box right here is my new RC boat that I just got in from uh, TowerHobbies.com, and a uh, really great site. I'll tell you some more about that site here in just a little bit. But yeah, big old box means big old RC boat. What type of boat did I get, guys? Well, I'm gonna get this thing out of the box and show you. So, get my uh, trusty Zacto knife. And we're going to cut into this box and get it. All right. So this is the Rescue 17 RC Fireboat from Augercraft Models. A really big boat, as you guys can see. The box is really, really huge. Uh, you know, I saw this boat in my local hobby shop a few months ago, and I was like, wow, this thing looks really nice. I mean, it's completely scaled out to the max, and I uh, really like the boat. So, uh, you know, end up getting it. And so we're going to take a look at it a little bit more and show you some of the cool features that this boat has. So let's get this thing out the box. Yeah, you guys, this thing is big. Alright, we'll have to get this on the floor here so I can get it. Alright, there we go. Oh, it's heavy. This thing is humongous, alright? Uh, let's see. Turn it to the side here. It has some of the special features that it comes with. Uh, you know, it's got 10 LED lighting system. It has a Tactic 2.4 GHz uh, uh, TTX 490. A lot of scaleness. It actually has a working water cannon on it, guys. So it shoots up about, they say 10 feet. We'll test that. We'll test that and see how that goes. But yeah, guys, really nice. Uh, this is an all fiberglass boat. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, just a lot of scaleness, guys. And, uh, you know, I'll grab the camera and show you guys a little bit more on the box here. So excuse me if I shake you guys around a little bit. All right, let's see. All right, so Rescue 17 RC boat. It's got the uh, interior and exterior lights. Really cool features, guys. There's the remote, the working water canyon. A lot of scaleness and detail in the uh, the boat. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it out the box, and we'll go from there. Let me put this back on here, and as soon as I get back, we will be looking at the boat. All right, guys, so I got the boat out the box, and here it is, guys. This thing looks pretty nice, guys. I mean, I am just, I'm speechless on this boat because just how scale and detailed and, and really how big the boat is. I mean, it's really nice. The boat tops out right at 38 inches long uh, and 10.25 inches wide, stands 17 feet. Uh, inches up from the bottom of the boat to the top of the mask or the uh, tower I like to call it. Uh, it's got the 10 LED light system which I have lit up right now. There's uh, four LEDs right here on the mast. We got two little spotlights here. Uh, there's two more lights on top of here and then we have the two interior lights inside as well. Um, you know, I mean this thing is just scaled out. Everything that you would think a fire boat would, you know, would have has it on here and it seems just really nice guys. Uh, which, I'll, like I said, I'll give you guys a close-up view here in just a minute. Uh, the boat has a 600 size motor, brush motor that is, with a, uh, which is water-cooled. Uh, it has an ESC that's LiPo compatible. Uh, so, a couple features there for it. Uh, I mean, guys, <laughs> I'm so lost on this because just how great this, this boat looks. It looks really nice. Um, yeah. 
Well, uh, let's talk about some other things that came with the boat. First off, since I ordered from TowerHobbies.com, they uh, sent me a catalog and all that stuff, coupons and stuff like that. Uh, TowerHobbies.com is a great site, guys. If you've never, never been there, check it out. Great place to get uh, RC vehicles. Uh, one of the things I like about Tower Hobbies is that they have this uh, uh, an easy payment plan where if you can't afford the you know the full amount of the RC car, uh, truck or vehicle that you want, uh, they, they actually break it down to like three easy payments or such and such each month. So it's a great way to get an RC vehicle if you don't have the the full amount to get it. So that's just a great way. All right, so let's talk about a few things uh, that you need to have for the vehicle. Uh, now, this is a ready-to-run vehicle. It comes with a controller. Uh, you just need to supply the batteries uh, for the controller and for the boat itself. Uh, so let's talk about the uh, manual here. It comes with the manual and some stickers to dazzle it up for you guys if you want to do it. Um, I'm definitely going to read this because we're dealing with the water cannon, which is the water pump in here. Uh, so we're going to definitely read on that. Uh, next thing you guys are going to need is a dab of super glue um, to glue down the little scale pieces on the tower here, which I'll show you guys that in a minute. Uh, the boat takes six AA batteries. Uh, two is for the lighting system and then the four are for the controller. Uh, you're going to need to uh, supply a 11.1 3 cell 3000 milliamp. Uh, LiPo battery with Dean's connection on it so you got to supply that and let's talk about the controller guys which I'll show you guys that up close here all right this right here guys is the tactic 2.4 gigahertz TTX 490 it's a four channel radio guys so uh, yeah it's a four channel radio so yeah so all right so let me get the camera off the tripod and show you guys up close all the scale features of this amazing boat, guys. All right, so here it is. Nice paint job, guys. It has a really, just a really nice paint job on it. All the way down. Look on the top deck here, guys. Like I said, a lot of scale detailed here, guys. I mean, we got uh, the little water vane there. We got some lights. There's the interior lights in there, as you guys can see. Just really scaled out, guys. I mean, this thing's really nice. There's the uh, water cannon right there. It's supposed to shoot up to 10 feet of water. We'll find out if that's true or not. Here's the uh, other light system on top. The mask, guys. There's more lights right there. Just a lot of scale detail, guys. I mean, this thing is just really nice. Uh, these are not actual working water cannons right here. These are just uh, for show. But hey, still looks good, right? So, really nice boat, guys. I mean, I can't wait to get this thing out there in the water and see exactly what it's all about. Just really nice guys, I mean, scaled out. Like I said, the real metal roping right there. If I can get you guys a close up view. So, just a really nice boat guys. I'll, uh, let's take a look inside here and, uh, and show you the inside of the boat, all right? All right guys, well I'm gonna show you inside the boat here. It's very easy to open up the boat. Uh, you push this little latch back right here and then it, it just opens up like that and inside of the boat has a little kickstand there so you can work on the boat. Let's take a little close up view here. We have the 600 brush size motor that is uh, water cooled. We have all our other electronics back here in the boat. We have our we got the ESC which is right there and we got our receiver which is right there as well look up here guys there's the uh, the lights and there is the uh, batteries for the 10 LED system there that has an on and off switch as well and uh, so yeah alright 
Now we'll close this. That down and latch it back. Now back here guys is where the water pump is located and also the electronics. So we have a Tactic TSX102 uh, servo. We have the on and off switch for the boat as well. I said there's your receiver in the uh, red balloon. We have your ESC and we have the water pump on it which looks like to be a 380 size motor I think on here so uh, it's definitely really nice it's a lot easy to uh, to uh, get to everything on the boat really nice uh, I'm very surprised that uh, our craft models did a really good job on this making this boat one of their most scaled out boats I think but this thing is just really nice guys and uh, like I said I cannot wait to get this thing in the water so uh, yeah, so let's get this thing in the water and <laughs> see, see what this bad boy looks like.